The sports talk airwaves of Cleveland lost a long time voice last night. Les Levine passed away after a battle against diabetes and Parkinson's disease. He was 74 years old. His career spanned a half century and sports fans throughout Northeast Ohio are mourning his passing today. Let's bring in three news sports director Jim Donovan now. Jimmy, his every man kind of self deprecating at times style <laughs> was infectious. <laughs> Yeah, it really was. Jay, there are a lot of networks in our business. There's NBC, ABC, CBS, of course, and Fox. Les Levine was his own network. He was the original one-man band. He did it all. He did the show. He produced the show. He sold the advertising for the show. All with the theme in mind, sports is a barrel of fun. Remember, it's a game, and he knew how to have fun with it. He was the self-proclaimed voice of truth and reason. Hi, this is Les Levine, the self-proclaimed voice of truth and reason in all of Ohio sports. That's how the great Les Levine signed his talk show on every night for decades. He was informed, certainly opinionated, and just a good friend talking sports with his audience. Just the title of his show. It's more Sports Channel and Les Levine. I told you, he never really took himself too serious. Les did things the old-fashioned way. He did it all himself. A broadcasting career that began back in 1970 in Jasper, Indiana, where he did play-by-play, -play, sold all the advertising for the broadcast, then went back and spun records as a DJ, all for 100 bucks a week. That do-it-yourself work ethic, it never departed. Les, right up until the end, hit the streets, pressed the flesh with advertisers, and they stuck with him. I mean, I only ate at Sokolowski's and Corky and Lenny's because Les said they were great. He was right. When Cleveland State went on their magical NCAA tournament run back in 1986, Les was on the radio call. Around to the left to Clinton Smith. To the right side to Ramsey. Ramsey fakes. He drives. He shoots. He scores. He broadcast Cleveland State basketball for 23 years. At Brown's press conferences on Mondays, it became a tradition that Les would press a Brown's head coach about time management. Coach, why didn't you call a timeout? I will miss Les. I know you will too. He had a trademark answer when you would say, hey Les, great show. He would snap back, today? No Les, every day. 74 years old, he worked really right up until it was physically impossible to do his show. It was tough to give it up for him. That's how much he loved doing it. Jay, when I would go to a Browns press conference, and heaven knows there were enough of those, <laughs> when I would go out there, it was like musical chairs. I would scramble to be able to sit beside Les Levine because he would have me rolling off my chair laughing. He had such a great, unique point of view about everything that went on in sports. Yeah, witty, funny, charming on the air. Um, I had the opportunity to be on his program a number of times, and, and uh, I was thinking back on some of those memories today. I always loved how he was willing to share his opinion, but at the same time, Jimmy, I'm sure you, you know this about him, he was willing to listen to the opposing viewpoint. If it wasn't his, he, he would listen to it, and then he would tell you why you were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, he did it all, radio, television, he was a popular columnist for the Jewish News. You know where we should end this, Jay? With his trademark, How Come Quickie, that he always had. So we'll do that right now. <laughs> Les would say, how come we park in a driveway, but we drive <laughs> on a parkway? That and was, there you go. And that was one of his <laughs> trademarks, and I'm sure he would love the fact that you remembered that today. Jimmy, thanks so much. We'll see you again at 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. True original. Okay, Jay.